they are mostly witch contracts. An uh, enjoyable one in my opinion, so please like, comment, and sub if you enjoy. And this seems to be, yeah, this is the one I think. The closer of the two markers. Oh yeah, I don't want to put on another pointless potion again because we spend a little bit of this uh, part underwater. So we'll go with Killer Whale instead. Cool. Killer Whale is very useful for topping that up. Oh, wolves. Can't be bothered with wolves. It's such a waste of combat. Because you get, like, absolutely nothing useful from them. So we'll go this way. Drowners and hybrids. Lots of drowners and hybrids, in fact. We will need necrophage oil. Uh, where are we at? Hybrids and necrophage. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Die. Time to die. Whilst they're all burning, I'll take out this one and go whirl the rest of them. Get out of it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Get out of it. Ow! You bums! Get chopped. Nice. Just want regular bolts just to take these out of the air. And down you go. That's an echidna as well. Oh, the actual uh, finish, finish off thing flashed up there as well. Oh, it's a drowner. Okay. Oh yeah, we're back at the actual um, cliff. You know where we started. Come down here and get your Ugly backside bastard. kicked. Cool. Right, so we'll grab all this stuff. And down we go. Get out of my face! Oh, there's a war tag as well. Is there normally a war tag around here? I didn't think there was. Can we insta kill it without? Probably. Yeah, come on, you ugly thing. No, not quite. Burner instead, then. Nice chunk of damage from Rend. Beautiful. Alright. Cool. Get all this stuff. Brutally hacked off the uh, head of the Echidna. Well, don't start nothing, won't be nothing. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's what Will Smith would have said, but you know. Shout outs to uh, Men in Black, another fine film. Very funny. Crabs. Mm. Must be near the fishing ground Ruick mentioned. Mm. Could you really recognize any specific area? based on there being crabs there in this kind of environment. I would have my doubts if I'm honest. There's... I also want to say there's a Witcher diagram around here somewhere, but I'm not 100% sure. Maybe not. <clears throat> uh huh. Human bones. Oh dear. Broken, but the marrow has been sucked out. Mm. A long, thin tongue for that. Yep. Hello. Right, so we can uh, get these things all around here and then burn the sh burn the hell out of them, I would imagine. Yep, there we go. Very good. Whilst there's a bunch of them here and I've already got Golden Oriole active, I'll just get the Devil's Puffball active as well. <coughs> yeah, get the stun from uh, Whirl and Rend. Oh, specifically from Whirl in that instance. How are you stunned? Oh, I was going to wait till he died from the poison, but it took a little too long. Nice, we've got a little uh, couple of red mutagens there. The first enemy is where you sort of commonly tend to get red mutagens now. In this area, so... We could... Make a greater red mutagen, actually. Should I do that? So that currently is 31%, but if I... Uh, Let's have a quick look. If I was to put the greater one here, it would be 30%. So I'd be losing 
a percent but yeah I'd be losing a one percent but I would also get one of my mutagen slots to be able to get sign intensity from that instead so I could do that I may do that let's have a look um, I didn't explain that brilliantly but hopefully you'll understand when I uh, do this so if I were to make a red mutagen and then take the three of those and combine them into a greater red because I'd want, I'd want to be making it into a greater red at some point anyway but if I was to make a greater red mutagen like this instead of having 11% and 21% I would instead have 30% from putting the greater mutagen here but also means that I've got that slot free so even though it's 2% lower for the attacks 15% higher for the sign intensity so you know get a little bit extra damage from uh, Igni as long as we've got the superior Petri active it doesn't actually make a difference in terms of um, it doesn't actually make a difference in terms of the chance to burn them really because superior Petri's um, side effect takes care of that so mm. But the uh, damage would be higher. Stench, the marks on the bodies. This must be a water hag's lair. Mm. Got a keen Indeed. Sense of smell. She won't come back while I'm. No, she won't. So we need to take Drana pheromones, but I think I've got those already. So Drana pheromones. There we go. Unless mm. she coexists with drowners. Maybe I could make an extract from their glands, cover up my scent. Mm. That should do it. Now for a place to hide and wait behind those boats. How do you get behind the boats? Right, cool. So we take her out. I really like that armor set with the uh, swords and stuff. Pretty good. Here she is. U G L Y, you ain't got no alibi. You okay? Right, so that's her. She's in the neck. We can set her burning because we've got the superior black blood. We can also, as per usual, do our usual slowdown stuff. Also, the superior devil's puffball and northern wind whilst we're at it. There we go. Just to uh, let me get a nice hit of heavy attack on her. Oh! That actually came up with the instant kill then. Wow, she went down quick, yo. Get wrecked. Get out of it! Not in the mood for messing about. Well, that was quick. Superior Blizzard. Pretty good, you know. Good. Sweet. Okay, so... Another one bites the dust. Another lesser red mutagen as well, just for good measure. Excellent. Right, so that's pretty good. Right now, I just got to find my way out. Can actually heal up by running into the poison again. Still got superior gold norial active, and um, yeah, that's that. Right, is there anything else interesting in this cave? I don't think so. <coughs> Um, this is the op other way. I didn't come in this way, but you can certainly go out this way, I would think. Let's have a look. Didn't end up needing the killer whale in the end, but still pretty cool. Mm. Right, so there is the beautiful Skellige sky again. So that's another one down. 230 paces, so not too far to go to be able to uh, claim this contract as well. We'll just go back to Care Trolled. Can we climb up here at all, or is that not going to be a possibility? Uh, yeah, looks like it. Whoa, unless we glitch out through the scenery. But um, This is weird. I was wanting to climb. What the heck, bro? Look, just let me... Alright, okay, that's going to glitch out, so it's not worth doing. 
I'll just swim around until I can climb up elsewhere on the shore and go from there. <laughs> All in a day's work. More drowners. Anything else interesting around here? Probably not. Still got the oil on my sword for them. Looted that. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, show me what you got. It being not much, because you're going to die. Rend is fun, man. Uh, get wrecked. I'll get rendered, rather. Cool. So you get a lot of mutants at this stage in the game when you're killing the drowners, because they pretty much give you a lesser mutant every time. Including the red ones, which to this point have been very rare. So that's cool. Right, now we can get Roach, and we can ride her back to claim our reward for that quest and then we'll go and kill the siren which is one of the other quests it's the siren that's uh, unfortunately murdered the groom to be of the poor lass who told her brother that her fiance had been picked up by something and that does indeed seem to be the case socks for her unlucky Jobs. Now what? Water. There we go. Here we go. Not bothered about the uh, coin or anything like that. Get the. Two hundred is not bad for a side quest, actually. Uh, where's this other one? Let me have a look. I think it's on the same uh, island that the possession quest was on. But I'm not 100%, so let's have a look. That's this one. So, was it Svolag, the top? Uh, yeah, Svolag. Cool. Alright, so we go this way. <laughs> On to the next now. Where's he? He's over this side. Okay, gotcha. Oh no, he's not. I thought he was on the other side. That's weird. Oh, he's Kevin the woman. I can't remember. Oh, Kevin's her brother, right? Oh, there he is, yeah. So she's on the other side. You have to run across the way and talk to her. There you go. Cool. Alright. Take a little bit more. Cool. How about that much? Agree can never be bothered haggling properly. There is like a set amount and it's quite easy to figure out but it's just not worth it. You got like 11,000 crowns. The way you make money in this game is not from doing the actual contracts and stuff, you know? The way you make money in the game is by selling stuff, dismantling things, looting, all that kind of thing. The haggling over like 10 or 20 crowns isn't going to make a difference. Especially not when you're paying the rune route like 30k for the third level. Or it costs you about 25 grand to make a to make a Grandmaster Witcher set, you know? Ain't it? Did you? Oh dear. Right, cool. Explore the cave that Brit was talking about. Right. 510 bases, that's a long way. Can we fast travel there? Do we have to ride Roach? There, yeah, we gotta ride Roach. That's cool, we love Roach. So, yeah. Where are you, sweet one? Let's go. Let's go, honey! Alright. I love how you can't, like, gallop through Novigrad, but everybody in Skellig is like, yeah, whatever gallop through the entire thing. Oh, just knock her over while she's doing a sweeping. Nobody cares. Nope, that ain't right. We need this way. So we can ride round and get to this road. Yes, that's what we wanted. Who are you shooting at? Seriously, who's he shooting at? Target practice? But then why is he going like, die? And all that stuff. How very bizarre, what a strange little gentleman. Okay. Alright, cool. 
Oh, I remember this house. There's a bunch of bandits here, and then there's a um, uh, one of the woven. I want to say it's a woven diagram. It's one of the diagrams, anyway, for something up at the back of the house. So I'll just kill these guys, and then I'll go find it. Hello. Bye bye. Y'all are looking pretty dead. Oh, you've got a shield. Awesome. That's good for you. Whoa, that did a lot of damage. What the heck was that? It's got to have been bludgeoning damage. Or maybe I just took a few hits at once. Yeah. Alright, so he's got a bludgeoning weapon, so we deal with him first. Let's go. Cool. Alright. Yeah, yeah. You should lose your nerve, because you're going to die. Oh, he died because I knocked him into stairs. A rare weakness. People don't know about bandits weak to stairs. Um, there's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me climb up and get this thing first. Oh, right. I'm going to have to go around and kill him. Where are you, ugly beggar? Hello! Bye-bye. Because they're healing from Superior Swallow. I've lost like that enormous chunk of health and then it was just like... No, no, it's fine. Sorted by the time we get, you know... Uh, by the time we get to the end of combat, we're all good. Okie dokie. Um, might as well meditate actually, because I've run out of Superior Blizzard. So just to give me the option of using that again if I wanted. Get these potions on. And um, yeah. Do we need black blood? We don't need it, but there are definitely um. Yeah, there are definitely advantages to having it for the next section. But, whatever. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Again, you could kill the goats and get the goat hides if you wanted. I uh, don't want to take that time doing that. So, what have we got? We've got... Did I actually... I've just realised why I'm taking so much damage. Apologies for the people who've probably been screaming at the stream at the screen while I've been doing that for however long it took me to remember that I've got a new steel sword. But yeah. It's difficult. You know, the only thing that's different is I'm not as great at judging the damage that I'm taking because you can't just eliminate all the damage like you used to be able to before. And I'm wearing different sets of armour. I'm wearing armour that um, does have lower resistances by design because I feel it's better to have a medium set of armor and have Griffin School techniques to be able to keep your um, Quen up a lot easier. Stinks of carrion. Um, it's interesting because I'm not as good at judging the damage but also I feel like you don't have to be quite so careful because they tone death march down a little bit which is a bit of a shame but not a massive shame they tone down the uh, the damage that enemies do the the difficulty of death march in general uh, this gets you an ursine crossbow yeah um, what's the word I'm looking for diagram that's the one hello bye bye kill these guys and then find out what you want yeah right cool Very big siren. big siren. Yep. Cool. Get all these things sorted. There we go. Drowners make an awful ruckus. Aren't they? Aren't they just making a loud noise? Alright. Nice bit of damage with the grape shot. And then come back and finish them off. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ow, nasty. I should really use Quen so that I can uh, get to three adrenaline points quicker if I wanted to be, you know, because I'm not taking hits and losing uh, adrenaline. Because you see, you do lose adrenaline really quickly there, so. But it doesn't really matter. You make it back quickly. Nice attractive pose from the drowner there. You make it back so quickly it doesn't really matter. Clearly used to be worshipped here. Mmm. Very interesting. Does worship have worshipped have two P's or not? That subtitle only had one P. It didn't look quite right, but you know when it's a word that you don't use very often, sometimes you'll say it or write it and you think, is that right? But it's just because you don't use it very often, you know what I mean? It's a word you use infrequently. It's strange. Maybe I'm just talking nonsense and that's just me, but I don't think it's just me, right? 
whatever. Anything interesting here? Um, not right there. How about here? All right, so this is the other side. I feel like over to this left-hand side, there is something useful. There's like a, I feel like there's a different cave area where you can get a little few pickups, but it doesn't really matter. Might be thinking of somewhere else. No great shakes. Strange scale color. Not your everyday siren. No, she's like a super siren. Echidna, yeah, there you go. Living here a while. Went into hibernation some time ago, but it's awake now. And it's yep. hungry. Mm. Right, so a load of drowners again. What can we hit these with? Dancing star, not used that for a while. And there's an explosive bomb uh thing there, so hopefully that'll set that off. Alright, if I uh, try and draw them towards that and then they can at least one of them can die from that. Yeah yeah, shut up. Suppose I should have uh should be using my black blood here. Uh, there we go. We'll get the Petri filter lined up as well. That'll be a useful one. That's pretty much it. That's everything triggered apart from the um, Superior Blizzard, which we can use versus Melisine if we really want. But she's pretty easy because she's a Siren, same thing. You can just knock her out of the sky with Ard or get her burning with Igni in particular. Um, and then, you know, you're pretty good to go. Can you craft bolts by yourself, or do you need them to be um, crafted by a smith? I think you need them to be crafted by a smith, right? Um, yeah. So, I've got enough to be making a lot of broadhead bolts, but I don't seem to have any yet. Yeah, so this is another thing that you need feathers for, so good idea to have that. Broadhead bolts are good because they uh, inflict bleeding, and I think it's a 100% chance. Um, I, yeah, in fact, it, it is them and I want to say tracking bolts are the other one but tracking bolts you can only collect you can't ever make them um, I think they're like homing bolts if I remember yeah target seeking bolt yeah and um, I believe they do inflict uh, that as well so all right so here's Melisine where are you you ugly thing nick those florins anything else around before we uh start the battle. Nope! Right, cool! Let's do this! Let's do this! Gotta be. Oh, Some poor Nils. Dropped him from high up. Brit wasn't if only he'd had a Nils guard, he'd still be alive. Uh-oh! That's a cool beastie, to be fair, the Echidna. I love the spin of his sword, you know? Hello! Right, yeah, there she goes, so that inflicts bleeding. Wait for it to come close enough. Hit it with the flames. And then... Oh! She went down relatively quickly. Okie doke. Kidney Mutagen Trophy. In case you wanted that. Right. Well... Yeah. I did say that Echidnas go down pretty quickly. So... Yeah. Tracking all broadhead bolts. Igni. Pretty good. Pretty good versus Siren, so there you go. It's ripped off an enormous chunk of her health. Probably to balance out the fact that they are so annoying to actually, um, you know, hit most of the time. Slide down here. And this, I believe, can get us back to uh, the other part of the beach where we can ride Roach, if I remember. I may be misremembering, but let's have a look. Uh, yeah, kind of. This is that bit over there that I was thinking of. We can get back onto Roach and ride away. There is a um, bear thingy assign um, emblem, but it's for the uh, crossbow diagram, which I already got. Right, cool. Go back and get our reward from Kevin. Poor Britta. Poor lass. That sucks. the diagram from there as well. Cool. Didn't even have time to remember to use the um, superior blizzard then. 
She was dead before he even figured. Oh, uh, right, cool. I played everybody from Svolag, as far as I recall, in terms of Gwent. So that should be all right. <laughs> Right. There's Kevin. Master. Found an old echidna in it. So Brit spoke to <clears> and <throat> killed it. I'll have oh. to Witcher, would ye ma Yeah, that sucks. I feel like it. Take this. Fair oh well. So you do get a decent amount of um experience from doing those side quests. Normally it's not a ton from the side quests, but I suppose 200 each just about adds up, doesn't it? That means that I've got another slot, so that's cool. So again, I could go with, I could go with Hunter Instinct, I could go with Killing Spree, or I could go with Deadly Precision. All very tempting. Um, for now, I'll just instead um, go like this and use slots that I've already uh, abilities that I've already got unlocked. Uh, and we'll go from there. So, again, I could boost my uh, damage from my <clears throat> strong critical hits or my uh, fast attacks. But instead, we're going to uh, line up the two reds there with the greater red and just go with that. There is absolutely no point reorganizing these, by the way. It's just because I'm a bit nuts and I like to have everything, you know, ordered just so. So, we've got the greens there, and then we've got the reds with the reds. This is the only bit that matters, putting the red mutagens with their red skills um, for boosting this. Don't have any blue skills in the build yet. I'll be getting some a little later. I'll save those points for now, because it could be that um, I want to go and get the mutations and get toxic blood. And then I'll be able to put one of the uh, green abilities in the middle and slot another red ability in that lightly um, to match it with the greater red mutagen so if I do decide to do that I'll keep the points so that I can get two of the mutations and get the um yeah oh bless oh no you can't be like a non-widow um yeah thank you but don't take it the wrong way you're I think hmm Right, so, uh, sorry, I was just l looking at the dialogue there, that's interesting. Um, yeah. Does that look like, is there a log there? I thought it was one of the logs that had, the type that had coins in, but obviously not. I was missing, right, I lost the thread of what I was saying. We need to be following the thread. Um, yeah, I was just saying, like, I'll probably, I could use those four points to get, um, magic sensibilities and toxic blood and then slot in one of the green skills like fixative in the middle slot and then put another red skill here like crushing blows or something like that um, to further boost the red mutagen without using any more points so because I don't like need deadly precision yet um, I'll decide on that nearer the time although if I did go and do that and I wanted to get toxic blood and get the strength of the synapses slot I'd be wanting to get deadly precision anyway because you want to be using it to um, you want to be using it to get through those fights with like the Guardian Panthers and things. So, a bit of a moot point, but it doesn't really matter. I think this next slot is 26. Yeah, so that's 26, that's 28, and then 30 is the last one in the main game that you get. So, um, going to be a little bit before we get another slot um, normally. Although you get like a ton of levels from the Care Morin section of the game. So, um probably won't take as long as I think into in real terms relative to you know how long the rest of it takes so we just need to collect on that quest don't want to do hallowed horn um, what else have we got these are some interesting quests but we'll do them later and the contracts are the fun ones so again we'll be leaving phantom of El Elbert for now uh, heart of the woods is a good one so I'll just do heart of the woods and then I'll probably go and actually do the uh, Uma um, parts of it and start the Care Morin portion of the game. Just grab that Blood Moss because it's one uh, slightly rarer. Although, actually, does it matter now if, I'm, if I've made all of my alchemy creations, which as far as I'm aware I actually have. Um, made all the potions, made all the bombs, it's just the decoctions and they don't take anything particularly um, difficult. Interesting. Right.
Where is this Lord of the Wood quest? Woodland Spirit, sorry. Oh, it's a place I've not been. Interesting. Right, travel back there. Have I been here yet? Oh yeah, I've been here. Because this is Joanna and stuff. It's not Iron Beyond though, is it? I don't know. I'm not sure. Weird. Anyway, whatever. Where am I going? Oh right, no. This place I've been to, I'm fast travelling here and then going to the other place. Honestly, it's like... I can be the dumbest smart guy I know sometimes. It's alright, I'll give myself a break. Let's be honest, I'm trying to multitask doing this stuff. We all know that blokes can't multitask. <clears throat> don't tell the lady folk though. As if they don't know. They're fully aware, aren't they? Let's face it, women know that men can't multitask. We kind of suck at it. Oh, maybe not to make generalizations, but I definitely suck at it, so, you know. I'm very good at other things, but not multitasking. Anyway, what have we got? Um, oh, this is a different settlement. Not been here before, which is why we've had to uh, ride to it. And there are people to play here in Fairland. There are a couple of people that you can play, in fact. So, I'm just going to... Uh, I think I need to med maybe meditate to... Be able, I'm sure there's a person like right here where I'm stood who you can normally play, but I didn't see anybody on the map, so maybe it's just this old man or whatever. But let's have a look. What are you doing here? I'm Lovely looking for Gwent sky. games, and I suppose I can sort out your um that yeah this 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 guy this guy. I knew there was somebody else here. Pretty sure you can play Gwent with him as well. So there's, which means I can actually finish my whole collection, which is cool. Was that greyed out then? I could have sworn that was greyed out. That's weird. Unless he like comes migrates between two places. <clears throat> well, we'll see. That was really weird. Yes, Marjorm. Awesome. That's actually a really fine hand, so yeah, we're good with that. Do I get greedy and yeah, I get greedy and get rid of the scorch. Yeah, that works. Cool. So if I play these three, I need to play them all in the same round because I need to play them at the same time I transform this. I could always decoy them back, but one of the other things we'd like to do is to um, play Villain Tretton Meth and then decoy it and play it again. So I'll just commit to trying to win this with the Mardrone cards. Oh, well that went poorly. Change of plan. Take you back. Oh, nice. So if they're going to go with the Red Rider, then I will scorch one of those. Don't have the deco anymore, but that's fine. Oh, interesting. Uh, so that would give me seven points. Yeah, I'll just play these. No point keeping Dandelion if Villain Trust Meth not going to come back anyway, so... Uh, that's absolutely fine. Win that one. They've got a bit of card advantage, but um, I can just either play these and force them to play a ton of cards, play all three of these, and then just, you know, take whatever the end result is on the third round. Like, you know, whichever comes from the, gr the graveyard. Or I could just scrap these things in the graveyard, then play these three, and then I'll get two of them back for the next round. Um... I'll just pass this round, get two cards back, and then might as well play them all in the third round. Because I either get Dandelion, Anvil, and Tretameth, or I get one of these back. And then I can play that at the end as well. So, Unless they have another Impenetrable Fog. And or a Torrential Rain. Should be alright. Because what could they have? They could have the Crones, which is 18. They could have the Aracast Beer Moth, which is like... 18 as well at max. Because it's the three Aracas and the Beamoth itself. Um, we'll see. Have no way of playing this back, so just in case they've got Yennefer, I should have played that already, but never mind. Moment of truth, we we'll see if they've got a Scorch, or two. If they've got two Scorches, then we're in trouble, but that's looking pretty good, because why would they play that otherwise? Not bad. Cool. I think we win. I 
have been a bit dicey if they'd played that and the two cards that I had back at the start of the round were my own Bill and Tretemeth. Do we get a card from this? No, oil. So I have played that a person already, but I've not been to this town. That doesn't make any sense. How very bizarre. Uh, I thought there were two merchants to play here. Maybe I was thinking of the blacksmith guy. Or maybe there's an armourer as well. It's uh, quite a big, relatively speaking, so... Could be. What have we got? We've got Mardrom and Ermion, so we don't need both. Take another Shield Maiden and Ceres. Excellent. That's really good. So, again, we want to be playing these things. Trying to get them to play as much as possible. Okay, I would assume they've got some range stuff then. Oh, nice. That's cool. Play this, play this. Because I'll play these three cards in the next round. I'll send everything to the graveyard beforehand. And then uh, that means that when I play Ceres in the third round, um, she'll summon the maidens back because they'll have been sent to my deck. Now, I could play Vil and then decoy it. I think I will do that just in case. Because they could also have like... So I'll decoy Vil back so it doesn't get scrapped when I use my leader ability. And I can play it in the third round as well. And they might play something like... I was going to say the Havokar Healer or something, but they've chosen not to. Uh, not worth me playing anything else because I'd have to transform the Mardrome and waste three cards, so I don't want to do that. Um... I will just win the next round and then win the third as well. Get rid of those. Right, cool. We'll win this pretty easily now, should do. Biting Frost are very rude. So I'll play Ermion and these two win this round. Hopefully don't have to play Ceres. I can't imagine what they'd have with their last two cards. Uh, that Havokar Healer can't bring anything back, so they've only got one card left, effectively. Alright, cool. So we win this one, then uh, two of these three get brought back, and then we just play Ceres as well. Not that, I mean, we've won already, because we know that they don't have anything else. Because um, they've just got that healer. Cool. Right, yeah, so one for one. Still worth playing that villain Tretemeth, though, because it's adding seven for me and getting rid of 15 for them, which is a big swing. So. Okie dokie. Anyone else? So there's Shillard, which is one of the ones that I was missing. Mm. Was there anyone else? Like an armorer or anybody like that? Roach is alright, she's over there, she's just chilling. Uh. So that was the blacksmith, wasn't it? That was really weird that he didn't give me anything. You know what I mean? Why didn't he give me anything? Could play him again, but I mean it was greyed out as well, so that's really strange. Maybe he just migrate between two towns, but I don't remember that ever being the case. Eh, it doesn't matter. I'll sell this stuff in due course. How much would it cost me to repair things? 82, that's not very much. I'll just do that, might as well. Although you should never really do that, you should always use the repair kits because you can just use those and then sell the others. Is there an armor anywhere for me to play Gwent with? No, can't play them, can't play them. I don't think there is, you know. Right, we'll just go and do this. Right, cool. Alright. Uh, right. Gap. So you know it. What? Note this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have a look. 
It's a common big ex no yeah. great. <laughs> you said right. our forefathers they can we we Yeah, this is stupid. I've heard enough. Oh we do. Our little talk while I looked over the corpse. Be not rash, killer. I'll decide what to do. Yep, sorted. Right, so we gotta go and investigate. Find out what this is. Newsflash, it's an ancient legend. In case you were wondering. And, if I recall, they are relics. I think uh, legends are relics, yeah. So, mm. Make sure we get that there. We get attacked by some wolves in a minute as well, if I remember. So, yeah. Got him like a razor. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I think some wolves attack you whilst you're looking around this stuff. I can't remember exactly, but I think so. Yep. Smash bones. That takes strength. No point in trying to parry its blows. Yeah, no point in trying to parry its blows. That's exactly what I was thinking. White wolf. Wise wolf. Get out of it. Die. Out of my face. Well, at least the white wolf hides itself for a lot. Hello. You're busy howling that way. I'm busy chopping you up this way. Yeah, yeah. And it's bleeding, so it'll probably die of its own accord. Where are you, ugly thing? Yeah, yeah. Want some? Get some. Love Griffin School techniques. Still really useful whenever you've got medium armor. Really good. Cool. Alright. Where's this lesson type its thing? Claws, or just marked off its territory. Mmm, who knows? Oh, Grab this white. Mail. Very old. Damn it. Yeah. Probably marked one of the Ah, well, we'll be able to check that it is, in fact, relic oil. Uh, there's Melisine. That'll be the um, Necker thingy. And then there's the Woodland Spirit. They're really cool, these things. you got to get rid of the marked one. And then, yep, Relic Oil, Dimeritium Bomb to stop its magic. Igni to burn the hell out of it, which is always good. All right. It's a blooming lesson, don't be so stupid. It's not a benevolent spirit. It's a terrifying murderous beastie. You can already tell which way this is going. Especially because it's a cool fight for a start. I'm a monster slayer. We slay monsters, that's what we do. Evil monsters. And this thing is an evil monster. Right, cool. Sort that out. When told you. Mm. There you go. Not so ordinary. Oh. Just what words. Right. Of... Gotta use my senses. Find the one. Right. So you got to find the spirit. person who's marked. It's his girlfriend, if I remember. Even though she doesn't know that she's marked. Will Sven visit today? Of course he's not here. Yeah, it's Hilde. girl. Damn it. That sucks. Even though this guy's a murderous pillock anyway. So, it's you. I know. No one needs. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lessons. Hilda. We must, b but she's what? Drive her out. Got it. Not going with. Tend to your own affair. I did what I had to do. Yeah, man. You better hope he's got some sort of Skellige tender lined up. We're gonna have some long, lonely nights. All right. Lesion's territory begins here. Need to destroy all the totems before I find the beast. Yep. Cool. 
wreck the totems. I can't remember. Can you destroy them with hard, or do you have to destroy them with igni? I know you can destroy them with igni, but I don't know if you can smash them with hard. I'm going to try it. Cool. That's interesting. Where are the others? Get this one. It's a cool contract, this one. I like this one. Also, this game is beautiful and amazing and I absolutely love it. Look at this. Come on, man. Burn, baby, burn. White Wolf Inferno. Oh, is it here already? That was delicious, but like, I haven't destroyed its totems yet. That was weird. Ooh, I didn't know that could happen. Interesting. Maybe it's set like a leshiny type of trap. Where's the totem? There it is. That's two down. Cool. I'm going to get the third one. Hey, that was cool. The little uh, leshin wood trap effort. Right, what else have we got? Uh, this is the last totem. Burn it down. I'm trying to uh, change the objective of the quest by pressing the right stick in, the R3 button, but it's um, just auto targeting the wolves because I'm in combat <laughs> like that. Kind of fun. Sorted. Loot the tree because we always just leave money in random trees and deep in a lesson zone. Maybe that's why it's getting annoyed because people weren't stashing their loot. It was like wanting to get itself some cool little lesson digs and it was like, where's all my money? Where's all my money? You sons of... Anyway. So, uh, the Dancing Star, Dragon's Dream, get all that stuff. Northern Wind's really good against these as well. Might actually try the Dimeritian Bomb just because it's so freaking useless against everything else. Might as well try, right? Yeah, come on, you ugly leshiny son of a bitch. Leshins are so cool. I think a lot of people's favourite monsters in this game are leshins. They are cool. Although some of the higher vampires, particularly the Detlaf fight, I think is amazing as well. Damn, dude! What a beast! Literally. That's pretty cool. Right, so we get first things first. We wanna get the uh, get the potions going. Right, I'm try and hit it with the dimeritium. Now that does mean that I can't hit it with magic, but I assume I can still set it on fire with the dancing star. So that's kind of cool because they are very weak to uh, magic. Right, why is it teleporting about if I've thrown a dimeritium bomb to stop its magic? How seriously useless is the dimeritium bomb? Like, real talk. There's just no point using it. Yeah, whatever. Um, so that wolf's dying anyway. Where are you, you ugly lashny son of a... There's the woodland spirit. Hopefully got enough to... I didn't even check if I had enough toxicity to use the uh, golden oriole. And I didn't. Dagnabbit! Okay. That'd be re... I'll get the toxicity soon enough. Uh-huh. And again, the blizzard is just making everything a lot easier. Try and burn that. Well, at least the Dimeritian bomb lasts for a long time. And something did a number on the walls anyway, so that's cool. What's doing me damage? Oh, it'd be the poison still. Duh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, at least I've got resolve to uh, stop me from losing any health. Uh, losing any adrenaline, so I can have the um, damage piling up there. I didn't even have time to use the uh, golden oriole then. I did, took so much damage myself. So, apart from poisoning myself, which is virtually all the damage I took in that fight, still kind of cool. Give me that trophy. And more importantly, give me that mutagen. I didn't even check if I got the mutagen from it then. I think it's a guaranteed drop. I certainly hope it is because I really like that mutagen. It's my favourite um, favorite decoction. Always has been. 
Right, so, Dog Tallow. Um, and like I say, I assume that I've got the mutagen from it. Let's have a quick check. Ancient Lesson Decoction. Excellent. I love that decoction. It's really good. Especially because now post-patch it works with all the signs. So it only used to work with certain signs. So it was fantastic with Ard Sweep, for example. And Firestream, to an extent. Um, and the Axes. But... Um, it didn't work with regular Quen, it didn't work with regular Igni, and, you know, some of your best signs. It didn't work with either of the Edens, uh, either version of Eden. So, yeah, it's really, really cool that now it does. I love that. Right, sound. So we go back and find that Sven's murdered everybody. And in a way, you, you want to almost take revenge and, like, you know, kill him for killing the Elders, but, like... Does it do any good to murder somebody in revenge? In a village that's nothing to do with Geralt? I don't know, it's difficult. It's like, morally, do you want to just kill them? Really not justify them killing the Elders. The Elders had their superstitious beliefs and stuff, but... I don't know, it's a difficult one. Hey! What happened? You rid us of the beast? Don't worry, our agreement stands. Mm. Nothing's changed. Leshen's gone. Your work is done, Witcher. You've done your part, and I've done mine. Think the village will go along with this? Folk will calm down. Realize the guilty needed to be punished. Do you hear? Fear will not rule my village. There will be no more killings. Go to your homes. And you, Witcher, on your way. No more monsters left around here. Oh, well, you can't attack him. That sucks. Yeah, except you just freaking murdered somebody. That's weird. I thought you could have started a fight with him and sorted them out. Oh, I guess not. There we go. Mm. Interesting contract, though. That's a good one. That is definitely a good one. Right, what else have we got? Anything cool that we want to do before we move on? No, we're not bothered about these. That one's an alright contract, but, uh, not contract, but quest, but I don't want to do it right now. Um, Phantom Velberg will leave until after we've dealt with Madman Lugos. Um, and then what have we got? Missing Sun, Missing Miners. So I could go and get, could go and do any of these. These are kind of cool, but I'll, I'll sort them out a little bit later. Don't need to get the experience early or anything else, so I'll leave them until I'm a bit later in the game. Deadly Delights and Elusive Thief. I could do Deadly Delights, but I mean I've, I'm already getting a lot less uh, experience for those, so I'll just leave them, come back to them if I do want to get the mutagens at a later date. Uh, Missing Brother could go and get the Arrowcast decoction, but again until I've got um, unless I was going to have um, Acquired Tolerance slotted, you can't have enough toxicity to use Delayed Recovery and a decoction at the same time. Um, and whilst I'm not exactly, up, I don't exactly have a ton of ability slots at the minute. I don't want to be having acquired tolerance just yet. Um, so don't need to dedicate it to that. So the question really becomes: Do I want to go to Kaimorin and do the ugly baby quest, or do I want to go to um, back to Toussaint and try and get the? Uh, do I want to go back to Toussaint and try and get the? Um, not the Beast of Toussaint, the um, mutations early, which are fun, um, but really it's just the extra slot that I want, but that will make me very over leveled, um, so I'll just carry on as normal and go and do the ugly baby quest I think, and then we'll go to, yeah, so we'll go to Kaer Morin. Um, the only thing I do need is I need a cockatrice stomach, I can't remember if it's a cockatrice or a basilisk that you actually hunt. So, um, you know when you're in, it might be a forktail, I think it's a forktail. So what we need to do is go and get a cockatrice first. So uh, as soon as I get the enhanced draconid oil from Eskel's camp when I'm in Cairn Morin, doing that part of the quest, um, I can then immediately go and um, get, I think it's around here, 
Um, I can immediately go and um, upgrade that in the His menu from having the cockatrice stomach the and uh, upgrade it to the, the superior one. So I'll just go and get that first. Try and find this cockatrice. I'm pretty sure it is this way. Go, go. What way to stay? All right. Ride roach because it is quite a little way. What's oh, a bear? There it is. Get down. It's supposed to be tracking bolts. Maybe you can't do it from horseback, which does make sense to be fair. Get off. Get off the horse, girl. Thank you. Hello. Set Roach on fire. She's alright. Oh, what did she get poisoned by? I'm not even paying attention. What have I got that can be poisoning now? Oh, no, I don't know, because the bolt doesn't poison me. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Alright, chill out. These things can hurt quite a lot. I suppose it would help if I had a protective coating. Why has the oil gone off my sword? That's weird. Oh, because I took the fixative off. Ah, interesting. Hmm. Put some, something else on just before I forget. Right, also that should actually be helping quite a bit now. Reducing the damage that this thing uh, deals. Give it a ye olde chop with rend. I love rend because they can't, they can't like block uh, block the damage or anything, which is cool. Cockatrice stomach, cockatrice egg, cockatrice mutagen, and a lesser red mutagen. Well, that was very useful. So I suppose that'd be a reasonable place to try and um, farm the red mutagens from in Novigrad as well before you go to Skelga. You can take that thing out with fire damage pretty easily, so that's interesting. Uh, anyway, what have we got? We've got... We'll be picking that up, like I say, and then do we have everything to be able to make that one? Yes, we do. So we've got everything in place so that as soon as um, we do get the enhanced Draconid oil, we can make it straight away. That's great. Terrific. Cool. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, Roach, calm down. Somebody point out that if you use Metamorphosis on Roach, it triggers all of your... Um, if you have Metamorphosis and use Axie on Roach, it triggers all of your... Um, decoctions for Metamorphosis as well, which is really quite cool. Why am I taking damage? It's because I've not got Superior Swallow on. Have I just forgotten to do it? Um, I don't know. How bizarre. Well, let's rectify that, first of all. Cool. Okay, so I don't need that marker, uh, because I actually did find the uh, cockatrice in that area. Now I just need Come to find on. a fast travel marker and go from there. Uh, seeing as how I am going to be fast travelling, I will, in fact, just nip to Toussaint and uh, sell everything before we go to Kemorin. I hope you enjoyed that, it was certainly a fun part of the game to play. Uh, please like, comment, sub and I'll see you all next time on the path.